I'm no Beyonce, but I sing. No Sierra, but I dance. I'm no Picasso, but I always give myself the chance. A chance to release embarrassment and recover my inner child. No inhibitions, nor fucks to give. They label me wild. I label them nosy, with too much time on their hands. I say that to know me is to know the God's plans. And all I know is, they plan for me to express. Utilize space to create beauty as I lay the old me to rest. Boom. Love me, Espelon. Need to be arrested. Nothing. <laughs> that was nothing, I promise. Oh, so today I met a one coworker. <sighs> and we got some tea, some boba. And then with my friend to go get some ramen. And we went to the mall. That was a bad idea. And then we went to the park. We had some drinks. We drank them. And now I gotta show because I gotta do OT tomorrow. But I'm so mad, like, I'm probably going to show y'all tomorrow, but, like, I got mud on the whole side of my shoe, and I wear my pink shoes, like, I'm so mad. I'm so mad. Like, I don't even want to think about it. I just want to get a shower, and I want to go to sleep, like, that's the only bad thing about today, like, because I was being ratchet, and I was running to go pee outside, because, like, I really, really have to pee, like, that's why I, like, hate drinking outside, because, like, I be pissy as hell. And so I have to go pee. So I'm running because the day going park police was waiting for us to leave. Because, like, we was the last people to leave the park. And I have to pee real bad. So, so my friend was just like, go pee right now before park police catch up. So I want to go pee. Man, you don't even worry about the T.I. Tish was stuck in his car. So. You know, everything was pretty sanitary as it could get as peeing in the wood. But, yeah, I'm mad. I'm so mad that like the whole side of my shoe is just mud. And I really like them shoes. And I just came from the mall and I like just kept on talking about so go get some shoes, go get some shoes. I'm like, I'm not getting no shoes because I don't need to be Spending no money like that, but whatever, bro. Whatever, it is what it is. I had a good time, it was lit. <laughs> Yo, okay, so update from last night I woke up at two o'clock in the morning. It puked my fucking brains out. I'm glad I didn't really eat nothing. Like, all I had was some ceviche. Like, I don't know what happened. Like, I didn't, I only had two drinks. And I think it was that mini made spike shit. Keep that shit away from me. No. But, yeah, let me show y'all these shoes. Because I'm pissed. Like, I'm aggravated as hell. 
I'm aggravated as hell. But yeah, even though I was fucked up last night, I still went to work, period. And I put in my overtime, period. Because I got shit to do. Period. Oh, I gotta show y'all what I bought from the mall yesterday. So. Big ass Primark, Primark bag, but I only bought one thing from them. I tried to get a small bag, but bath and body works got me for everything that I was worth. Um, so it was buy three get three. So I got this musk. I might have to invert this video. Um, one vanilla sugar. Brought me back to my middle school days. Even though I, I was mostly a Japanese cherry blossom type of girl. But I like me some warm vanilla sugar too. Um, into the night. Um, butterfly. Of course, a thousand wishes. And luminous. So, this smells rich. This smells like money, baby. This smells like sweet. Hold on. Let me. It smells sweet and fruity. Like a pear. It smells like pear. This will smell like. This one is more fresh and powdery. Now, I see what she was talking about. I think my nose was just a little overwhelmed yesterday. Cause she, the lady that helped me, she pointed in this direction for powdery, but it wasn't even powdery in the moment when she sprayed it. This is giving like smoky. That's all I got. I mean. This is very sweet, very soft, very... Oh, I can't... Oh, this is warm vanilla sugar. Duh. I thought this was this one. I just, I just sprayed that in on the That is very soft. I would say it gives a little bit of floral, but it gives musk obviously that's the name and this one is sweet it's spicy it's spicy so this is my consumerism collection <laughs> let me put these back up Y'all see my waistline coming in? Um, my waist don't sit down here like a lot of girls like for theirs too. But it's coming in nonetheless. So y'all better watch out. Then I went to Pink and got some g strings And I got to went to GNC and got some jojoba oil because my face... <sighs> It's tweaking out for some reason, and I feel like it's because I um I feel like it's because the sweet almond oil is just not doing it anymore. This is the closest thing to like sebum, so I feel like I think that's the the name for like the oil that come out of our skin. So I need to focus on rebuilding my moisture barrier. <laughs> um, and this the little shirt I got. Come on. Mark, mark. They said, like, my friend, he, he was like, he was like, yeah, they said this to Sheen, but like in the mall. And I'm just like, okay, let's see what they're talking about. It's more like Sheen for like the middle aged woman. I mean, obviously, sometimes middle aged women get hung on, have that shit on, as you can see. But yeah, it makes me feel like a fairy. So, 
I'm just gonna put this in our dirty clothes. I got therapy in a few hours. I'm gonna go bother my sister. On my way to my bestie's graduation. She getting her master's today, y'all. Don't say what. The big one, never the other one. Oh, I don't know what So, say what like yesterday. I was in an Uber. And my Uber got away from the Uber. I'm like, this guy's got like some sneaker type stuff. It turns out the rapper was his brother. And his brother, he do music for sneaker. Like, this is so crazy. Like, how small the world is. <sighs> and so, basically, I ended up, like, following his brother on Instagram. And stuff like that. He's got to be a rapper, too, but he had to choose corporate over creation because... Got a family, and I was like, I feel that. But yeah, I felt, I felt really inspired yesterday after that conversation. I don't know why. But am I fresh? I ain't got my glasses on, so I can't really see. Yeah, I just wanted upon a trail baby that's one thing about me i hope i ain't got no boogers in my nose i don't think i got no boogers in my nose sorry if i do but um so i told a co-worker of mine that I was doing YouTube or whatever. And I be trying to tell everybody because I'm really like looking for constructive criticism and stuff like that. So he watched it and he was just like, you know, you got questions at the end of all your videos, but it would be nice if you answer them. At first I was just like, no questions is for y'all, not for me. Like I don't, I don't I didn't feel like I should, you know, answer it for y'all that's more so for you to dig deeper into yourself but then I thought about it I'm just like it would help to like you know give some sort of answer some sort of insight I'm not gonna go all in detail like it's my journal or whatever but you know I guess I could you know give a little insight I don't see no no problem with that 
you know, that's why I asked for the criticism so I can make my changes. So from here on out, the rest of this series is going to have the answers to the questions. Now, so I didn't do it for Electrify because I didn't talk to him since Electrify. Well, before, I didn't know him. So whatever. But I'm going to answer the first three questions. And the first one is, I believe, well, I don't know if it's going to be in order or whatever, but um, it's when were, when was the time you was in the negativity in somebody's life? And quite frankly, I can name a few times. I can name a few times. And a lot of times it was unintentional. Sometimes it was very intentional, but other than that, it, it reminds me that, like, I'm not a victim all the time, you know? And then the other one is, what does guilt feel like? And guilt feels like a tether, like a brick tied like hanging on a string tied around my waist and the crazy thing about guilt is you could rectify the situation you could do whatever it needs to be done to actually you know fix things but you could still feel shitty about it i feel like guilt is kind of a excuse to be complacent that's what it feels like it feels like an excuse to me to me um, because it's just like, what you feeling guilty for if the shit is already done? If you could fix the problem, fix it. If you can't, then whatever you can't control, then stop trying to control it. You're going to drive yourself crazy. And you could feel guilty by how you perceived afterwards. That's up to them how they're going to perceive you. That's not your business anymore. So, shit, fuck it. It is what it is, basically. And then it's fear of comfort. Hell yeah. It's a great excuse to not do what you really want to do. It's a great excuse to not do that middle thing between where you at now and where you want to be. Because you scared of, like I be seeing a lot of posts like you scared of people seeing you trying and shit like that. And it's like, that's true. Fear makes you comfortable. It makes you believe it's okay to be comfortable. Yeah. But. <sighs> yeah, that's all I got. I found this nice little park. I'm taking my break at work and I'm about to just. It's hot as fuck. I ain't even gonna lie. Like, it's supposed to be 80 degrees today. I feel it, baby. I feel it. I need some sunscreen. But yeah, I'm gonna just enjoy the scenery and start running my mouth. But, deuces. It's a garlic clove spring onion. What's the measure on the Ah, oh, the tree in the way. Okay, so I'm loud. My mama, today's Mother's Day, my mama in Michigan right now. And we trying to get these oxtails done by the time she get back. And I'm making her some Rice Krispie Treats because that's her favorite sweet in the whole wide world. But I think it is because when she get around Rice Krispie Treats, she cannot contain herself. Like, girl, Rice Krispie Treats do not be busting my face. So 
So, so she think they be busting like that. I'm gonna make her some. But um, I probably shouldn't use a knife. I don't know. I'm not that experienced with garlic. Like, how I want to be a better home cook. And I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Yeah, I know you gotta take the paper off. We literally just got back from the grocery store. We was arguing the whole time because we was on the crunch for time. And my brother just had to go back because I forgot the damn marshmallows. I got everything else but the damn marshmallows. The one thing you need to make any type of cereal treat. So, yeah, I'm going to start with this garlic first. I This is my first time ever working with fresh garlic. I mean, this should be enough. Three, three cloves of garlic. But I want it to be too garlicky. But, yeah. You got melted together. You like crispy? So I'm on my way to go get my nails done and I'm nervous because ever since before COVID it was only one girl doing my nails and when I was, didn't have my nails done it's because I couldn't get to her and so I'm a very loyal customer and so it hurts to move on but you know she's exploring different avenues in life and I we just ain't what word am I trying to say? We just can't really. What the fuck am I trying to say? I don't know. We just don't align with each other anymore. Like, cause she still do nails, but you know, she got other stuff she pursuing and shit like that. So, yeah. So I'm nervous, but I really trust this person for some reason i just be going off instincts with anything and i usually be right so <sighs> she seems pretty cool from everything else that i've seen on like style seed and shit and <sighs> she's like she really do her sh do her shit when it comes to nails so i'm looking forward to it and i could walk to her house like i was so scared that like, I wasn't really going to be able to find out the close to me. And I'm trying to get something close to whatever this is on my head. Because I'm going to dye my hair pink and red for Meg Thee Stallion concert. This was like my little rushed attempt to do it. But I figured out that I need to do a little bit more extra in order for the color to show up better. So I think I'm actually finished doing that today because I got to work and this has to dry. So, yeah, bye. concert and y'all should know by now if i say i'm gonna do my hair that day you gotta give me a couple business days because it's simply not happening so i didn't missed it my hair put the leave-in conditioning or my scalp and now i'm gonna start so i really like these nails and it's like kind of hard to see the pink and the red but i kind of like that it gives kind of like candy like a sucker i feel like i'm exuding sugar right now yeah so, obviously, well, I might, I don't know. 
I don't really think this gonna take this dang on long way. First of all, I got a lot because I ain't got a comb it through my hair and all of that jazz. This towel finna irritate me. Ugh. And hopefully the liquor keep me warm. I know I probably look crusty. Am I crusty? Not really. But I'm using this as I am curl color. It smells really good. Like, I wasn't expecting it to smell this good. Like, I can't even tell y'all what it gives. It just smells. It smells like black people hair products. Okay, so I'm just going to. Because I tried just doing like half. And then like doing red on the tip. But I think I'm just gonna go crazy with the pink. It's a add generous amount. And I have to be very generous, so. from the lie on Instagram and be like yeah I I definitely did dye my hair what y'all think but you could who the fuck did your hair what <sighs> what is correct you know what I'm not even gonna get too upset because I don't know why I was expecting a bleach then dyed look and my hair is not bleached and I, I never I never I feel like it's giving like a kind of like a brown kind of. And then this one double waxed, so it's gonna be kind of weird. But something telling me to trust the vision, trust the process. Okay, should I use the rest of this? Because I didn't use the whole damn thing. Yeah. Why would I get ignorant? You know what? Let me just try to spread it around. Spread this shit around. Spread it around. When I get ignorant. When you do, um, when you start your locks with braids, I, I just made a year. A tilt, tilt. So I just made a year and my pattern is still there. So the fact that my pattern is still there, I feel like contributes to how the dye has spread because it's like really locking in the well, maybe I don't know shit. Okay, so this is hot red. I don't know why I didn't do the other one like this. Oh, I'm slow. Say, I need my glasses on. See, even it even looked different. Like the consistency even looked different. Still smells good though. It smells like that African pride shirt. Okay. Let's see. Let's just start with. The, see, see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying though? Like as soon as I put the red on, that shit is not fucking around. It's simply not fucking around. It's just, it's really telling me who's boss right now. I might just have to, yeah. Look at that red. This red did not come to play. And you know what? That's why I read my favorite color. Cause what? Like look at my gloves. Like the pink was not doing anything of that sort. 
but I still like how the pink show up just a little bit. I mean, I really had a vision in mind, but you know, the universe had different plans for me. And it's okay, cause at the end of the day, I was gonna be cute regardless. I need about 20 more of these. Gotta pay for that. <clears throat> no, but for real, like, red is really my color. <laughs> Let me see how, what that purple hint for, because I always wanted purple color. Back when my favorite color used to be purple. But I was kind of lame because purple was only my favorite color because that was my birthstone. Oh, yeah. Let me show y'all how much I use. Get the back first. Big lady, big lady. If you want this baby, come and get it. I don't really use this much. That's crazy. Uh, I got me a catfish from Ricky. They catfish go crazy. Because this shit won't stop transferring. And I guess I'm wearing my hair like this. Something tells me to just wear my hair like this. But quite frankly, as of right now, I'm not feeling it. But I put the outfit on with it. I'm just like, okay, I think I see the vision. So I'm just going to eat and... I need to figure out how to make this shit stop transferring. I've been blow drying it. I think after I eat, um, just blow dry it again. Yeah. Call it one. Cause like the more I blow dry it, the less it's transferring. But like, damn, like how long do I have to dry this shit? But I did put two different colors on, so it's probably like a lot to dry. But yeah, it is like, I don't know what time it is. I'm not going to stress myself like that. <laughs> yeah. There he go, your video. Yes, it's out, honey. As it should be. Her shit gonna be out too. Yes. Okay. I don't know. Okay. Mm, I don't you know. gotta do the middle finger. Oh. Or should I? Yeah. Yeah, that was cute. I like both of them. This damn purse. My <laughs> golly. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Purr. Purr. Walking away, walking backwards. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Done. Yeah. They don't see PT. You ready to do the
Yeah, I'll make some noise for these hotties right now. Make some noise, make some noise. Y'all ready to get back into some motherfucking hot girl shit? If you a real hottie, let me hear you say real hot girl shit. Okay, so we just got from an after party and I was booty of the club also there and I think I'm gonna end this vlog here because she was lit. I got caught on stage, bitch. Y'all can't tell me nothing. Y'all want a dance battle? Come get the smoke, bitch. Big lady, big lady, if you want the smoke, come and get it.